It's Pennsylvania Outdoor Life. it all to you right now. Hello everyone and welcome to Pennsylvania Outdoor Life. I'm Don Jacobs and I'm in the Pennsylvania Outdoor Life cabin. I got to tell you something, we've been spending a lot of time out in the field because trout season is right around the block. So of course we're standing in the corner of the cabin where we talk about fish. We actually spent two days doing this story. It's a trout stocking story on some lakes in Luzerne County. You're going to hear from Aaron Lupacini. So Aaron, where are we and what are we doing today? Today we're at Lily Lake in Slocum Township in Luzerne County and we're going to stock uh, two truckloads of trout into the lake in anticipation of the opening day trout season. So I looked at the, all the schedules for our viewing area, 19 counties. This is the first one. It's like the beginning of spring for a lot of people. Absolutely. I like to try and uh, get the lake stocked as early as possible. You've been here before when we've had ice still on the water and that can make it a challenge. So just in case I try and get the lake done first. Um, and this is a stock trout water that's open to year round fishing, so. The Pennsylvania Fish and Boat Commission trout stocking program is quite an undertaking. They will stock 695 streams and 128 lakes. The total number of trout stocked this year will be over 3 million consisting of brooks, browns, rainbows, and golden rainbows. Nearly 14,000 of them are considered trophy fish. What you have to remember is the cooperative nurseries raising trout. They add another 1.2 million fish, bringing the total of trout being stocked in Pennsylvania to 4.4 million. That's a lot of fish. So I'm like a kid in a candy shop this time of year. I've been stocking trout since I've been eight years old. My grandparents used to take me out. My father used to take me out of school. And when I tell you that this is like the rite of passage, right? The first bucket of fish stocked here. You saw it. And look at this. We got some beauties in here. And we're gonna try to let you see them as they come out. Look at that. Beautiful rainbows. And of course, that big golden rainbow. Spring is right around the corner. The Newswatch 16 news crew was on hand to capture the moment. Reporter Emily Kress even grabbed a bucket. So is that your first trout. time stocking trout? It was. You, your first bucket. Never done it before. There you go. And you're going to be on Pennsylvania Outdoor Life doing it. It's my dream. <laughs> Been watching since I was a kid. Congratulations. That's awesome. Awesome. Right, Emily, get, everybody. <laughs> so the buckets were to show us that there were trophy fish in here, to get the kids involved, to let them be a little hands on. The rest of the lake will probably be stocked like this. If you look at the end of the hose, the fish are coming in. They lift the gate out the hose and into the into the lake. Very efficient way of doing it. So this story is two days in the making. Here we are on Monday and another lake in Luzerne County. Lake Irena, Hazel Township Community Park getting stocked with trout today. You may remember we were on this lake not too many years ago. It was frozen solid and here's how they had to stock these fish. That's how thick the ice is, folks, right there. That's pretty cool. Good, solid, clear ice. Oh, they're beautiful fish. They are beautiful fish. Watch your step there. So most of them are going to be put in with the pipe. But Scott and I are going to do this ceremonially. 
These are beautiful brook trout. Brookies. Oh, Some man. rainbows. Nice. Nice trout. There it is. That starts the trout stocking season. A whole truck's going in here, right? Absolutely. Now this weather's gorgeous. Truck's pulling up. It's a great day to be in Pennsylvania. And once again, the trophies are bucketed to the water. There's the first bucket off the truck. Okay. Let's do this. Let's take her right up here. And like every truck always has a couple of brood or trophy fish, whatever you want to call it. So we're going to take this bucket down to the end here. Let's take a look at the size of some of these. Oh yeah, look at that. Look at that brook trout right there. Look at the beautiful colors in that fish. Look at the beautiful reds in that fish right there. Look at that fish. Beautiful. Gorgeous trout. Oh, look at us. Look at the colors on these brook trout. There you go. So this was your first bucket of trout ever? So what's your name and where are you from, buddy? Uh, I'm Kevin Wolf and I'm from Whitehaven. So your first time stocking fish. Yep. What brought you out here today? Um, I'm a big time fisherman and I like the outdoors. So you had a day off? I'm homeschooled. Oh, you're homeschooled. Well, that's awesome. Grab another bucket. So tell me about volunteerism and, and since this is the beginning, people can help and, they, and you actually encourage them to, right? Absolutely, if you look here, we have a lot of cars here today. Uh, some of these people are here to just observe, that's fine. Some of these people are actually here to help get the fish into the water. Um, it's a little more critical that we have that help, obviously, when we're doing streams. Um, when we do the lake, typically we can just pull the truck right up to the lake and offload the fish through a hose or a tube. Uh, as you know, you've, you've been with us on creekside stockings. Those are a little more challenging. So the more help we have, the better we are. And we're still in Luzerne County, stocking trout with the Pennsylvania Fish and Boat Commission. This time we're at Lake Francis, and that's the lake at Nescapec State Park. This is a very popular lake for fishing. We're waiting here for the truck to show up and dump in the trout. So the truck is finally here, but because the grass is so wet and damp because of the snow, they gotta park the truck here, load them into buckets, put them in the back of the, the, the truck here, take them down to the lake, bring the empty buckets back up. This is gonna be a lot more labor intensive than the last two lakes that we were at. So two opening days, pretty much, right? You have the mentored youth and then the, and then the uh, regular opening day. We have the mentored youth uh, the week before opening day of trout season where a mentored youth can fish with an adult um, a week early, so. And the internet, you made it so easy to find out where things are stocked. Absolutely, it, uh, the trout stockings are typically posted in January, they're up and running now. So if anyone has any questions on when, when or what time their favorite body of water is gonna be stocked, it's just a few clicks away. And it also tells you where you're meeting the trucks, right? Absolutely, so yes. It makes it nice and easy for volunteers. Yep. That's right, we're getting ready for the opening days of the trout season. We're gonna take a short break, but when we come back, we're gonna visit a local bait and tackle shop. Make sure you're ready for the opener. <laughs> 